Good morning, Leos. Happy bonus read, everybody. Sorry I didn't get to it yesterday. I think that time change kicked my butt like it never has before. I am. I am, honestly went to bed at like 4 p.m. I kid you not. Um, yeah, so you know what? It's 5 a.m. You're my first reading of the day. Now, this is a bonus read. This is extended, so grab your adult beverage, which my favorite is coffee, um, and get comfortable. And your weekly read will be done this afternoon. I just have appointments, and then when I come back, I'll do the weekly Zodiac. But thank you for being patient. Thank you for being a bonus read. That means you were uh, the second uh, highest viewed sign. So thank you, Leos. Thank you for the support and the love and the likes and the subscribes. And I just really feel it from you guys. So I really appreciate it. All right, Leo, I have Tarot the Abyss for the main deck. I have Golden Art Nouveau Tarot for the clarifying deck and the links to these decks can be found down below in the description box. Six of Swords and a Temperance Upright. Six of Swords is a powerful card because it swords talk about our mental faculties and this is clear on what it is you want and going after it. Like no holds bar, making up your mind, moving on to something a lot more balanced. That's really what I'm feeling here. So let's see what's going on in your read. All right, Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Leo. If you are a Leo, know a Leo, feel like being a Leo. Leos, I'm glad you're here. You could be a Leo and this resonates. You could be dealing with a Leo, could resonate as the main story, and Leo can be the cross watcher. This reading could be about a Leo or for Leo. Take it as it resonates. Collect the messages for the Leos. One more? All right, one more. Okay, Leo, you feel good. All right, general energy. What is the story that needs to come out today for Leo? What is the story that needs to come out? You got an Ace of Pentacles reverse. Aces reverse mean no in general, but it could be something you counted on. It could be you saying no to somebody. What's influencing the Ace of Pentacles reverse? What's influencing the Ace reverse here? And the Ten of Cups. Okay, let's see. I got a couple feelings, but I want to get more cards out. Reason for the reading. Reason for the reading. The King of Wands reverse. There you are. What's I, I'm feeling a strong Six of Swords. I think you have to do what's right for you here. What's in the past? What's in the past? The Empress. Is Does this have something to do with this Ten of Cups? Empress energy is a very desirable, nurturing, attractive energy. Feels like an Empress energy came into your life. That's what it really feels like here. All right, what is on your mind? What is on, I see a Two of Pentacles wanting to come out. What is on Leo's mind? Leo, that's a lot. The Nine of Cups, happily ever after. And there's the moon and a 10 of pentacles reverse. It honestly, just in these cards out, I think I'm reading for a Leo that's making a really tough decision to leave something long-term behind for love, for happiness and doing what's right for you. Because King of Wands reverse tells me that you're, I just feel like you maximized your desire in a situation and you started Oh, that's probably not the right term for it. It just feels like you're not feeling it anymore. And it's it's beyond that. I just It just feels like you haven't felt it in a long time. And I feel like somebody could have came into your life to really open you up to a better way to a more fulfilled life. And the Empress is a very nurturing energy. And I feel like this energy, if this was a friend, if this is some type of connection. And for some of you Leos, the Empress is you. It's realizing your own worth and realizing you deserve more than you've, you've gotten. This Ace of Pentacles reverse, I feel Leo is you saying, you know what? I'm not growing here anymore. I mean, look at the card. When it's upright, it's abundant. It's, it's full of promises, but reverse, I feel like somebody's been stuck in a situation for a long time and not really breaking through. So you got an Ace of Wands reverse here, which is a lack of passion for what it is you're doing. It could be a job we're talking about. You got the Moon and a Ten of Pentacles reverse. You're deciding to move on from something because it just doesn't serve you anymore. One second, Leo. I have to get this card that fell out and it's face down. So let's see if it applies. One second. I had to move the microphone. Yeah. So it was a Five of Cups. And a Five of Cups. I mean, look at this. 
this almost feels like a four of cups, like a card of apathy. She's not looking at the two of cups next door, but she's not even looking at the three of cups. It's just kind of like, gosh, you know what this feels like? It just feels like some of you have maybe felt a certain kind of way for so long and you didn't really know. Could have thought, am I depressed? Am I, is this a midlife crisis? Um, is this me? Is it them? But five of cups, it really, I'm getting apathy on this card. It just really haven't felt joy or love or happiness for a given situation for a long time. And this Empress energy back here, it doesn't mean it's way in the past. It could have been this week, last week. It could be somebody else that opened your eyes to what you want. This could even be you realizing that you deserve more than you've settled for, basically. And I feel like we're breaking free from this Five of Cups, opening our eyes and seeing the Ace of Cups. You see on either side, there's a new beginning. Ace of Cups, Ace of Wands, Ace of Swords, whatever it is for you. But I just feel like you're starting to open your eyes to this now. All right, what's in the near... Okay, what is this? Eight of Wands. Did you see how that fell out of the deck? What's in the near future? Look at the Hierophant. Yeah, there's the Ace of Cups reverse and the Three of Pentacles. I th honestly think a Leo's held on for a long time to a situation and you see how the rope is frayed and it's been painful to hold on but I just don't even I just feel like there's a lack of desire in what you've been holding on to eight of wands and the higher fin is showing itself and I really feel like you're going to a more abundant situation is it abundant in love abundant in finances either way you know you want it how do you see yourself right now so I'm saying shuffle so let's do it look at that higher fin and the fool wow i feel like you're jumping into something new and it's exciting and maybe for the first time in a long time you don't have a plan and that that's okay with you at least you're feeling something you know what is how do you see yourself right now leo how do the leo see themselves how do the leo see themselves how do the leo see themselves Ace of Wands on fire, baby. Getting you back. King of Wands reverse. It's the beginning of something beautiful, something new. What is the energy coming in you don't see coming? <clears throat> what is the energy coming in you don't see coming? Okay, thank you. It's two cards. Oh my gosh. This reading is so specific. I love it. I love when readings are telling one story. Ace of Cups, Three of Pentacles, Reverse. What did I say? You've been holding on to something that's been painful for so long. Ace of Cups, new love, but it's self-love. It's finally feeling. So I want to say something again, because some of you have been in something that you were holding on to because it was better for somebody around you or for, for other people at the expense of your own happiness. Three of Pentacles, Reverse. You're finally letting go of that rope, letting it break and, and taking something new, which is, look at this taking a new offer. See how she's taking a new offer, 10 of cups, ace of cups, ace of wands, ace of pentacles reverse. I really feel like there's a lack of growth in a situation. What's coming in? You got the two of cups. All right. What are in your emotions? Very beautiful. What are in Leo's emotions? What are in Leo's emotions? The knight of pentacles reverse. Knight of Pentacles is a long term energy, right? It's a patient energy. It's it's trying to get to that 10 because 10 of Pentacles, Knight of Pentacles is a Virgo in energy. And so the Knight of Pentacles reverse, I feel as in Leo saying, you know what? I, I can't keep investing where I'm at. I feel like there's actually a sudden stop. Seven of Pentacles reverse, Knight of Wands reverse, the Magician reverse. It just feels like you... You don't want to waste any more time here. And something that you don't even see is going to bear fruit. What is, give me one more card in Leo's emotions. There's a sudden change here, a sudden pivot that brings a lot of happiness. What is in Leo's emotions? The nine of wands. Now the nine of wands is don't give up. You're almost there card, but what's below it? Yeah. Three of swords reverse. And then the Knight of cups. You know, what's interesting is this is a current energy, okay? This is, let me just show you how these work, the spread. So this is a current energy. This is current. This is current. Even this can be current. 
what is coming in this is this is coming in coming in coming in so you have a knight of pentacles reverse and a nine of wands upright which is really an eight of wands reverse i feel what's going on right now some of you have a new love coming in and that's going to open your eyes to what you've been holding on to you might have a new job offer so you might have a conversation with somebody and realize man i just i want something different there's i feel like there's an energy of going after what it is you truly want in life and again some of you this is love some of you this is going to be some type of financial uh situation but near future whatever you've been holding on to we already saw three of pentacles reverse and here's your eight of wands which signifies the nine of wands reverse is coming in i feel like you're letting that you're letting i really feel like you're saying no to somebody which is right here and just letting yourself see where the chips fall three of swords reverse is saying i'm healed from the past i'm already the three of swords isn't even piercing him it's piercing this book of knowledge which tells me you've already learned everything it is that you can learn from this situation and i can't help to say that there's just this lack of desire and love for whatever it is and the knight of pentacles reverses nothing's really growing nothing's really being cultivated from all the effort being put in which we see it right here with this apple tree in reverse okay what is the outcome here for leo what is the outcome here for the leos what is the outcome here for the leos What is the outcome for Leo? So look at this. Two of Cups, Ten of Pentacles, Reverse. This is what you're... I feel like you're letting something go in exchange for something very beautiful and happy. You got the Temperance coming in. The Moon right there and three cards just fell on the ground. Six of Pentacles. You're taking a new offer. Look at this. But a six of cups reverse, I do think you're saying goodbye. It's like wait, wave hello and wave goodbye at the same time. That's what it really feels like. I feel like you're making a very tough decision, but it could have been a decision that almost should have been made a long time ago. But maybe you didn't have an incentive to make that decision. But whoever this empress is, if this is within you or if this is somebody else, now there's an incentive to grab something very happy and leave something very unhappy behind. All right, what's below this temperance? Two of Pentacles, yeah, two of Wands reverse. Wow, this is a strong decision. Three of Swords and the Four of Pentacles. What did I say with this Three of Pentacles? Holding on to something painful. That's exactly what this Four of Pentacles and the Three of Swords were on top of each other, like a like a, a nightmare love fest. It's holding on to something painful. And what's below that? You got a Ten of Pentacles. I feel like some of you were hoping this was gonna happen. But it maybe it just never really fully got there. And you're, it's just saying, you know, Knight of Pentacles reverse. It's just, I can't, I can't do this anymore. But I, I'm telling you, something happens. Something transpires to open your eyes to changing a path very quickly. What is the Ace of Pentacles reverse? Center of the reading. Ace of Pentacles reverse, center of the reading. Yeah, Seven of Pentacles reverse, which is an Eight of Pentacles reverse if you want to add it, which... We got the Virgo again. Seven of Pentacles reverse is wasting one's time, realizing it's a bad investment at this point because nothing is really growing and I feel like you're making a decision to leave it. Influencing energy is a Ten of Cups and an Empress right here. Boom, boom. There's something that makes you happy, the idea of having something else. And what if this is a Leo in a long-term situation and a long-term job? or just maybe a situation and it's just the idea of having something better and you're realizing how unhappy you've been and you just can't do it anymore. Look at that, five of wands, six of cups. So are, what are you fighting for? This new soulmate, I've seen six of cups twice now, which means a three of pentacles reverse, death reverse and a four of swords. It just feels like something's waking you up here. Something woke you up. What is the King of Wands reverse reason for the reading, which is you? King of Wands reverse reason for the reading? Temperance reverse, not surprised. Not surprised, just an, a level of unhappiness for so long. And the King of Cups, and this is what you want. You wanna feel fulfilled. You want a life with purpose. You want to feel 
Like it matters what it is you do. You, you want to be in love again. You know, you want to feel something. I just can't stop saying that. And I feel like somebody came into your life and you feel something and you don't want to let them go. Empress, Ace of Swords Upright, gave you a new beginning, which made you feel like a King of Wands. It's in color, right? I feel like somebody woke you up and you can't go back to sleep in what it is you've been doing. Nine of Cups on your mind, happily ever after. Nine of Cups on your mind. And a nine of, two nines, nine of Wands. I feel like the emotions are there, but there was a lack of moving towards it because you wanted to make the right decision. Seven of Pentacles reverse is telling me you're making a decision though. Eight of Wands coming in in the near future is moving forward. What's the Eight of Wands in the near future? New relationship or new job, depending on what this is for you. Hierophant, you have a new job or new relationship here. Hierophant, Eight of Wands, and the Emperor. Look, can we take a moment for this balance? Empress energy here, emperor energy here. In between is a six of cups, a ten of cups. This is this is a beautiful thing. Something that you've been in, it feels like you've been in this moon and you forgot what your own energy, the sun feels like. And now Ace of Swords is a communication. It's an idea. It's an epiphany. It's a new person, whatever this is. It's kind of, I feel like the offer is coming in or this epiphany came in, but you still stayed for a moment and what you, what it is you've been, but you allowed yourself to finally hope for a happier life. And guess what? You're going towards that. Cause I feel like, I mean, this is a yes card. Ace of swords is the yes card out of tarot. I feel like somebody gave you the offer, but you kind of maybe hesitated a bit. What is the ace of wands? How you see yourself feeling alive and on fire. Ace of wands, how you see yourself. Eight of Wands reverse, but not really going towards it quite yet. And again, let me just show you what we have here. His, he does have an Eight of Wands, but he's holding it back because he's holding on to that Page of Wands, Ace of Wands, right? You have the Ace of Wands and you're holding your Eight of Wands back. But near future, Eight of Wands upright, you're just going to let it go. I feel like you feel like you may owe it to somebody to see what they're going to do, you know? But, or to see if it gets better. But I, yeah, something transpires because I feel like you just leave. Three of Pentacles reverse, Ace of Cups coming in, letting it go and grabbing the new cup. Three of Pentacles reverse and the Ace of Cups. King of Pentacles reverse. And the Empress. Look at these two energies. Let me just show you something. So a three of pentacles, three of pentacles is a queen of pentacles, Capricorn energy, right? King of pentacles is Taurus. Seven of pentacles reverse is Taurus. I actually feel like you almost give somebody a chance and they, 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 they can't meet this energy. They can't meet this offer. They can't meet this money. They can't meet this level of happiness. Three of, that's why you're letting it go. Three of pentacles reverse, king of pentacles reverse. And what you're taking is this empress's ace of cups, this offer. This is definitely too, this is old and new right here. And you're over here in a seven of swords reverse and a hangman reverse. This offer can solve a lot of my problems. What should I do? This offer brings me a lot of happiness. What should I do? Well, lovers reverse and a tower upright. It just, it really feels like a very, I mean, the, there's a lot of majors and aces going on. It's a big decision, but it's a decision I feel like in your heart, you already know what it is. You just, you're just making it a, into reality now knight of pentacles reverse nine of wands and the knight of cups and your emotions why is that knight of pentacles reverse nine i feel like it's more of a knight of cups in your heart you know what it is you want but there's a lack of movement why three of swords reverse three of swords reverse is a healing card but i feel like you don't want to hurt somebody i can't help and you don't want to but you don't want to miss out on an offer either that's why you're taking it. Six of Swords. You're taking it. That's where we started, right? Six of Swords at the bottom of the deck. All right. Two of Cups, Ten of Pentacles reverse, Temperance, and a Six of Pentacles. You're taking this new offer that's... Two of Cups is just feeling, finding where you belong. Letting someone down easy is what I'm feeling, though. There's our Knight of Wands on that horse again. 
you're taking the ace of wands giving i feel like you're letting somebody this empress energy this new if it's a it's a love situation or a job situation or just within you it's it's a level of happiness you've never experienced before and you can't miss out that's why you're making that decision to a swords reverse coming out of this in between waking up to your life again page of swords i feel like this is good news coming but some of you this is you letting the person kind of waiting to hear they have a lot of good news coming because i feel like somebody's kind of been in their head wondering if you're going to show up if you're going to take it um five of cups and eight of cups it just took you a minute to really realize the difference between this is a three of cups and it's kind of like i really feel like some of you had to realize that there's no going back once you find yourself there's no going back to sleep once you wake up and it's just it's a very powerful thing ace of wands and a magician reverse when i see this energy it just tells me your magician energy within you has been asleep for some time you forgot who you are and the power you possess and the happiness you can have because you've been in a situation for a long time and once you wake up to it there's just no going back to sleep and i feel like somebody's got a lot of good news because this really I mean, I'm 50-50. I could see this as a job. I could see this as a love reading. That's the beautiful thing about these spreads. So it depends on how you resonate. I'm not here to tell you what it is. You're the one who's supposed to feel it, you know? So when you feel it, you're going to know if it resonates. So that's it. Well, either way, it's you waking up to a lot of happiness and taking this offer. There's no going back. There really isn't. All right, my beautiful Leos, I'll see you this afternoon for your weekly read. Um, give some time so we don't have like the same story for maybe we can hit other groups of Leos or, or just see what happens. But yeah, have a great Monday um, and I'll see you kids later. Take care.